Hello, everyone. Time for more withering rooms. I'm not sure how much more rooms need to be withered before we are done with the video game. But I don't think it's much more at this point. Hello, here I am. Uh, if I look rough, which I probably don't, given that I currently occupy a tiny square in the corner of your screen. I am running on, like, maybe three hours of sleep, tops? I don't know. I'm a wreck. I'm always like this, though. Drink the energy drink. You'll feel better afterwards. But will I, though? Will I? Bold screen positioning. What's bold about it? Yeah, last time we were doing the arena challenges, I found all of the Night Mother's instruments, which means I can actually, like, right now... I can actually, like, complete... well, so almost. I can almost complete the, uh... The Night Mother ending, but there's still other stuff that needs to be doing. I didn't take the level up. Or did it save before I took the level up? Honestly, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> what, what was I doing last? I'll take violence. Valley of Horror. Oh, Didn't I, I do this? Did it not save after this? Can you trick the rock into thinking anime is real? I can try. I bet, honestly, that that might explain. Yeah, I did this before. Shit, it didn't save after I completed this. That's Shan. Ow, I tried to roll and it didn't come out. I just won with brute force. Okay, well, I won anyway. Didn't didn't take much effort to redo that one. You're too weak to activate the shrine because we put a pointless limit on whether or not you're allowed to use the bloody checkpoints. I don't get why that exists now. Violence. I'm committing to violence. There we go. We got up to here before. Take cable car. She wants a picture of Central Station. There we go. I need to go do that. village tokens do I have? Three still. That's irritating. Because that's, that's related to something we still have to do. find more tokens to get at that like one door in the the valley I might have to reset the night in order to make that work among other things unless there's some other way to go about that but I'm not sure what like, I killed everything in the valley already. It's, they're all dead. There's, no, there's nothing else to get tokens off of.
Where am I going? What am I doing? Well, I'd like to use my weapon upgrade kits. Minimap, please. <laughs> Why? You can never dodge roll it. It never works. Why is it never work? Uh, is he still here? Yeah, he is. Well, I'm mainly committed to using the axe, so I guess we just upgrade the axe. Look at it go. Why not? Okay, now... Tackle the remaining quests, but not in this order. Because I think the bell is, like, the main quest. So let's search the attic for a lost grimoire. Casual looks like they're wearing the armor from Ghosts and Goblins. You know, it kind of does. <laughs> we got the, I got that super armor. If I charge my special, I can activate a third powerful move. Alright, you. You exist. I forgot about you. Comes from the farm, not the animal kind. A great bloody tower. I got out. I can buy- I can just buy blood off this guy. That's kind of handy, actually, that I can just buy blood. I wish this guy sold tokens, though, but he doesn't. I will take a shit ton of your blood, though. Oh, he's got a charm. 10% melee! Boink. That's mine. I'll have that. Three hundred percent I'll have that. Does this thing take damage like a normal thing? Uh, yeah, but it also makes me, like, super cursed. Okay, well, now it's poisoned. Man. Okay, so everything in this area curses the shit out of you. 10%, 10% extra melee damage at this stage. It's all stacking. Like, where can you view your stats? Do you have to go to the, the nowhere for that? The nowhere. I need precisely two more tokens, right? There's that one door that's blocked by five tokens, and I don't think I have any way to get any more. I might have to reset the night in order to complete that little side quest, which is really annoying. Okay, it fucking dark in there, like. Oh, there's like a guy there. What? Okay, so just being here seems to passively curse the shit out of me as we go. for not especially long. I don't suppose there's anything I can do for curse resistance around it. A place that doesn't curse the shit out of me. You know what? True. It's kind of a constant around these parts. Okay, in we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow. That wheelchair killed my dog. What the fuck is this thing? Give me that. Oh, I found it. Yeah, curse rod. Okay, well, I found the grimoire. So, uh, what does that let me do? Most of it is indecipherable recipes for the creation of black wax and associated spells are clear. Oh, so I've learned some new magic. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, I hope they're interesting. Sentences said by the deranged. Are there no rings that heal your curse over time? Yes. But they do so very, very slowly. All regenerative effects as well have a thing where they, they stop procking if you go down to a... Uh, zero health. Zero of a given stat, this is. I'm gonna buy more blood off of you, actually. What's the blood for? Level ups. I've got like a couple of level ups I can get off of the upgraded uh, blood machine in the basement. Is there like a table here I can do spellcraft with? No? How sad. Oh no, this, no, but you're not. Damn it! No! 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 You cringe lords! These are not spell tables, that is bench table! Table bench! The other. Th Why does that keep happening? Okay, uh, Grimoire, here we are. Black wax, one of each, makes sense. Cast. <laughs> Annihilation spell creates an incredibly powerful cursed energy blast with a very wide radius, causing all but the most hardened to become inflicted with curse rot. The caster pays for the spell with their own blood, in addition to suffering the same curse damage as others in the area. So basically it just kills everything, including you. Great. Uh, this makes you do a shitload of damage. Dramatically increases melee damage, poison, speed. No spell toll is charged, but the caster will become more cursed each second the effect is active. Last 20 seconds. That seems like it might actually be useful to me, so hit me. Like very all or nothing, but I can see I can see the appeal. Okay, let's go spend some of this blood. The blood is for this. gonna make myself more violent. I'm just gonna do all kinds of damage. I am now level 40. I have gone- I have gained an achievement. I still need- what is that? 13 more blood? I may as well just take care of that now, honestly. Before I forget. I'm just gonna become incredibly violent. I'm gonna max out violence to the greatest extent I can. And a great spell for bosses? I agree. I agree with that. What's all this money for if not to be spent, you know? To the camp. Bye. 
silence. The chamber is not powerful enough to harden your body any further. I have maxed out my potential. At least on this particular chain of events, anyway. It is definitively faster to just curse myself and then run through nowhere. Because I... We're going to the church. Here we are at the destination. We are going to the basement. We've already been down there, I think. I don't think there's going to be any enemies between us and our destination, because I think I killed everything down there. <clears throat> You know, I looked through the update history for this game because I wasn't sure how much was added over time. Ooh. Can do. Memorize the uh, the melee charm. Now it's with me forever. Isn't that nice? Uh, this entire area, the church basement, wasn't in the game when I played it. Like, this was added. Oh, I couldn't get this open. Right. Uh, hmm. Can I get it open now? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Is this a legal move? When can this be done? You know? Are you still in here? No. Okay, she's gone. I guess... I'm not sure what the, 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 the flag is for that, but I assume that opens the basement. Okay, so I haven't been down there, no. <gasps> New area, yet again. Do I have camera ammunition? I do. I hope it's not picky about, like, my shot. Yep, it opens the basement. As I suspected. Headlamp, medium headwear? Okay. All right. Uh, what the hell is that thing? Ow. Bleeding. Jesus. I didn't even get a hit on the fucking thing. Always problems. This inflicts bleeding so fast. Uh, maybe gun is the thing for this one. Maybe. Not if they're gonna fucking cheat and count the door like that, though. Bastard. Happy Wednesday, six in a row, six in a row, six in a row. Oh. Cool. Uh, I guess I just can't go in there then. Crash? No, the enemy's just stuck at the door. Cool game. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, that's not very epic at all. You know, I'd like to be- oh, it, oh, it did go away. It just took, like, five- Now it's going to be, like, stuck at the door again. Why does it do this?
This is embarrassing. Yeah, that didn't help. No choice but to just do it this way. Power through with strength. I'm not even trying to like heal the the bleeding because it's just gonna happen. This enemy deals like 12 million bleed damage for some reason. There we go. What? Oh, I got something. I got something practical for that. Hey, Roxas, thanks for the good luck. Can be used in... Contains commands such as... Oh, sorry, let me read this thing properly. A wax cylinder containing requirements of Priscilla Moss and Ishan commands. Contain commands such as Daffod West, Central Stations Closed, Daffod Switch, Intruder. Can be used in Priscilla's mind control machine. Her mind control machine, huh? That seems like a normal above board thing to have. Okay, don't. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they have a blind spot. They have the same problem I do. <laughs> Got him. Dealt with it. Antenna head. There are so many enemies in this game. Hang on, I gained a new weapon. It's been a hot minute since I've gained a new weapon. Electricity makes for an unpredictable weapon. Hits may do almost no damage or up to twice the typical amount. Great, the gambler's melee weapon. You cannot be serious. Gamba? Gamba. Excuse me. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't, don't blow up the hazardous waste. I'm a bit afraid of what that might do. Just, can you please be normal? Honestly, these guys are, compared to the, the, the big enemy out front that was, like, a total pain in the ass to kill, the enemies actually in the, the rooms themselves are not incredibly threatening. To it for the bit. They're gonna explode and kill me. I don't want to like die. I mean, if I do die, at least then I can get the tokens. A daffod automaton. Oh, here we go. You're Daffod. I knew a guy named Daffod once. Uh, can I do anything with anything in this room? Hmm, maybe not in this room. 
I thought it would have been this room. This metal door has no handle. Uh... Well, shit, what do I do then? Power room? Can we restore power? Did I miss something in here that would have been otherwise crucial? I don't see shit. I mean, there's clearly something here, but none of it seems to... You can't, like, interact with this. Electric mace? I don't... If that... I'm willing to try it. But I don't think the game works like that. You are right. I would never have guessed that in three million years, because that is the only time I have ever had to solve a puzzle by hitting it with something. That, that is the first time in some, like, 20 hours of gameplay where I have ever been required to do anything like that. work the first time like it whipped clean through it So why do I need this? Right, I assume the idea is to make him move over here and then... Okay, bye. Alright, whatever. Fuck you too, David. I'm not 100% clear on why that was necessary. Okay, well this clearly... we got to do something about that. What? How do we get that open? David West. David West. No, oh, he's off. Great, good for him, but like, I can flip that myself. No, the thing is, it stays flipped. Like, when I flip it, it is it timed? It doesn't seem like it. No, that just controls this door, which is perfectly, like, I can just flip the switch myself. I'm not following what the puzzle here even is. The switch just controls that door. Whoa, 
hold back and press the switch to open the grate. What switch to open the grate? This switch just controls the door. Can you queue up commands like this? Commanded to turn it off again? Is that the puzzle? That that seems like the puzzle. That's a stupid way to design a switch. I do not like the concept of doors that only open when they're not powered. I don't like electronic doors in general thinking about it. Well, either way, that's the puzzle. We've done it. Conveniently, there's a teleport. Pardon? Is this just a universal thing of being... Okay, uh... I guess I gotta shoot that. Oh boy. That's a strong enemy too. Cool. Ouch. Eat a roll, I think. Oh, that guy followed. Aha, but I have paralysis on my side. Nice. Here, another ceiling dude. Oh, not another one. Hey, could you, uh, could you change your target? I'm understandably not incredibly enthusiastic about trying to attack from this angle. <laughs> ah, I can't even cast spells in it. Like, they're kind of hitting each other. Haha, <laughs> guy with the projectile died. Do Acid Flax and friends go through? Doesn't look like it, because they're throwing Grandada and it's blowing up in their face. I'm not incredibly convinced it's a good idea for me to actually do anything here. Gun isn't going to work, because it's going to angle upwards. Yeah, no, just hurt myself for the bit there. Honestly, I think my best move is to relax for a moment. So how are we doing, chat? I genuinely think it's for the best if I just kind of wait for a moment and let them kill themselves.
Maybe whip? Maybe whip. That's an idea. Mm. No, I don't quite reach, unfortunately. I don't understand hitboxes. <laughs> How is that not close enough? I can't shoot the gun, because Nightingale wants to aim straight upwards rather than forwards. And projectiles seem to go- yeah, you can't like fire a projectile through this anyway. I just used a medkit by accident, God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. I think there must be a more efficient way, and there probably is, but it's not coming to mind right now. So close to die. <laughs> Hurry up and die already. Nightingale. Hit that. Yoinky. Sploinky. Yeah, I'm not going to fight multiple of them at the same time. Firstly, fighting any enemies in this game, like two on one, is a mugs game. Secondly, the big robot dude is very strong. Central Station Logistics Machine. Oh my goodness. The head's in jars. We have a request. Of course you do. Oh, she she grabbed three of herself and made a computer out of them. That's kind of gross. So how, how do I go about this? Okay, well I can do this. Alright. I got a weapon upgrade kit for my trouble, that's nice. What's in the box? know what's in the box, damn it. Also, I need a picture before I go. Do you think it will be okay with just any picture? Once a photograph of Central Station, like, is this fine? Is this a station? Is that legal? Does that count? Hey, Twisted Dreamer. This doesn't look like Harold Halibut. It's not. Correct.
one thing at a time, Edwin. This was supposed to be done a while ago, but unfortunately this game is like quadruple the length I remember it being. But mainly because it became quadruple as long. Maybe the head's new? No, I know how to open it, I just need a spell. I can upgrade the Annihilation spell, what a great idea. So I can kill myself more efficiently. What a great plan. No, I need to enchant a doll. Because they opened the thing, but they're... Where is the nearest one I could possibly make work? Ah, how annoying. It's the workshop, isn't it? Really gonna make me run around back and forth like this? Like, there's one in this room, right? Point. I bet you as well. This this better be a life-changing item or I'm going to be really annoyed. It's like, you brought me out here in the prime of my life for like three medkits? Will the doll even be able to survive in this room, I wonder? What with the silence and all? Okay, no, it stays active. I don't know why this room silences you. What is, what is the lore behind that? Hate magic. True. Five organ grease. That's, eh, that's, I wouldn't describe that as life changing. I'm pissed. I also got a. What was it? Receive 50% less electricity damage, 50% less terror buildup. That is of limited use, but not zero, I suppose. Probably not going to get much of a workout from me. Okay, well, I think that's mission accomplished down here, at least. So... Back to the cemetery. With photo in hand. Yeah, 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 I know. I got, I got a photo for you. There we go. Looks like nobody's been in there since besides Priscilla Mosson's minions for ages. There's in a few banners. Loot what's left. Thank you for completing this mission. Next battle, the Flames of Hell. Sounds fucking great. I'm sure nothing will go wrong here. It would appear as though the enemies have flamethrowers. Oh, I've learned a pro strat for dealing with these. jumping. What if I ate the poison meat? Hmm. He's getting hit by the flames, but he's strangely not taking any damage.
its enemies love to do damage to the player. Which, if you ask me, is just not very pleasant of them. Okay, got him. Dealt with it. Dealt with the situation. Is that also extra weak to fire? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I may have forgotten about that. It comes up so rarely! Actually, I don't know why I'm like... Why am I doing it this way? Go back. So I'm about to level up, which means I'm going to have my health and curse restored. So I may as well just pop as much armor as I can possibly get. Violence. Very violent. Is that really the max amount of armor I can possibly have? Next battle, a curse knight. Ah, these enemies do curse it to damage. Not my favorite overall. Fuck, and they do it super fast too. Can I please attack? No, I can't. You fool, thinking you can play the game. I'm just, like, trying to win the damage race. That's my gambit. Ow. Ow. Cursed. Dying. Excuse me while I go restock my first aid kits. Thank you for playing... Withering rooms, as usual, you've been a real pal. Horace, you lazy bum! It's time to go to work! Annihilation plus one. Violence again. It's, it's nice that the game reminds you that the the uh, the Remembrance Shrine turns off, because <laughs> otherwise you might die and be sad about it. How many arena trials are there? The fuck are these things? There's a healing chair for regular health, not just curse damage. Well, that'd make the game a bit easy, don't you think? I don't like this guy. <laughs> hey, dog, do you want to do something? Apparently not. Actually, it sounds like dog was giving them the business there. No, he's just going to stand there. Whatever suits you, man. resistant to poison. That is actually, like, anti-useful to me. <laughs> the paralysis is doing such work! I didn't even take normal health damage from that. That was mint. Crushed it.
fancy yourself a knight. How many arena trials are there? Like, how capable am I of actually completing all of these? Oh, that's grim. Don't like those. These fucking- none of these dudes are, like, vulnerable to paralysis, which does not do me any favors. They are vulnerable to poison, though. Oh, that happened very quickly. Oof. Move! Not inconsiderable, like, time spent dicking around there after getting terrorized. One of them died, that's good. Oh, I'm probably dead. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, terror is such bullshit. Good thing we had the save. Even after terror wears off, there's like several seconds where you can't do anything. Maybe change my headgear for this. This terror buildup might be the way. Oh, the dog is distracting. That's good. Oh, fuck my life, dude. Okay, the candle was resolutely a complete fucking waste of time. Nope, still got terrorized in, like, the blink of an eye. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> cool game. Epic combat balance. Get hit with the status effects, die instantly. Very cool. Well, they're all distracted, like, fighting the dog right now. Uh, does that ever stop? They're all- what the fuck? No, that was unavoidable. There was no chance. Did my level best to avoid the situation, it was just not possible. Nope, she's she's doing the terror thing. There's not a lot I can do about this. This is just a badly designed encounter, I am Because uh terror just kind of kills you. Heal, heal, heal. Heal! You dumb shit! Bad game. I tried to heal and it ate the input. Fuck off. That's bad game behavior. I had- I was able to recover there and it just ate the input to do the heal. What the fuck? You saw me go into the menu and it just didn't do it. Nah, that's fucking nonsense. Ay, 
I... Ooh, it's faster than me, too. Oh, there's terror activated. Boris, protect me! Horace is doing a good job of protecting me, actually. Like, shockingly so, frankly. One down. That went much better. Oh, was it over? I thought there was still one left. My candle! Tolerance, please. Oh, I got an achievement. Complete all arena challenges. That was the last one. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That one's hard. It was the last one. I don't like get hit with terror, die instantly, though. It's like, it's kind of shit. But alright. Custom battle. You set the rules of match and will procure the combatants. You receive league points based on how you perform. Get enough league points, you get a charm as well as a center the next rank. To customize the battle, you'll set down flags. You started his. Here's a few. I can partake in custom battle. Question. Why would I do that? <laughs> you have not, as of yet, provided an amazing reason for me to partake of that. Plus 3% base melee damage? Love it. Said you get charms, but what kind of charms? I have to pay money to unlock stuff? Oh, I can unlock the music. I like I do like the Blackett House theme. It's very good. Do you ever find the chain witch? She's behind- I'm willing to bet she's behind the door that needs five tokens to open. Which I can't get. I only have three and all the enemies in the valley are dead. I spent my coins activating the shrine. Just start the battle. Just reset Mr. Coffin. I think I'm gonna have to, yeah. Which I'm not thrilled about. Because it's gonna respawn. I hope you understand, it's going to respawn everything. points they get for that. I need 230 points for the next cheese. Did direct happen? It's 3 p.m. I believe. Have the remembered thing be permanently active in this? Well, I guess the way the checkpoint system works, though. I don't know. It's, it's just a little tedious to have to do it every time, is all. 
Sneeze. Vomiting enemy trying to vomit over the heads of the- they're too tall. They're too tall. <laughs> they're too tall. <laughs> they're too tall. The vomiting enemy was killing everything by just hitting him in the back of the head. They're too fucking tall. Six. Like, it's tempting to see what happens, but I got stuff to do, man. Find a dude to upgrade my armor in the end? I did, yes. It turns out he's outside the left side of the mansion, which you can only get to by jumping off the roof. Uh, I did not reason that this would even be physically possible. Here's a mystery that remains unresolved. No idea how to get through this door. Kind of seems like I might need to come at it from a different angle. I mean, I say kinda, it, it says that. It says I need to come at it from a different angle, doesn't it? Yeah, this guy, this guy upgrades. In fact, I have another one, so I might as well. Oh. His menu is blind. I guess I did buy everything? So I guess that tracks? Haha, I have paralysis. I'm a stinker. It's amazing how much easier it is to kill things when they can't hurt you. I still have, um, the wrong amulet equipped. Go back to this. I equipped something for bleeding tolerance and forgot to take it off. E. Hmm? It's a large man, you're telling me. Hitboxes, please. Stunningly, so much easier to kill stuff when they don't move. can be done at this point. I could advance the main quest. Actually, I think I can finish this tonight. Tonight? Today? Like, it's not a, it's not a night, is it? How dare you silence me. I will not be silenced. Because all I need to do... I did dodge roll it. It can be done. I just... I need to do the chained... Like, what are my quests at this point? It's... Find the witch in the valley and then finish the game, pretty much. Like, there's, it's, there are two things remaining. Got four of the angel twig things. I do have that, yeah. I can't upgrade my axe any further. So I will upgrade my pistol. Why not? Get a plus three pistol. Nothing wrong with that after all. Ooh, I hate you! 
I need to pee. I need to pee. I'll be right back. Toilet. Toilet. I'm back. I'm back. He's back. From where? Somewhere. Okay, let's take care of business. One thing at a time. I have the four first angel kindling, so let's see what's up with that. Can of Monster is now empty. Probably gonna be drinking coffee. What have you? Yeah, what I need, so like, on, let me look up the map, show you guys. On the far left of this, there's the Valley King's Tower. And I need five tokens to get in, but I only have three, and there's nothing else I can kill around here. Everything is stone cold dead. And I don't think there's any other way to get tokens other than killing enemies in this area of the game. There's not quite enough in the game to actually get that open. At least not without resetting the night. Or at least it seems that way. Like, I don't suppose there's anything... Yeah, this guy doesn't exchange for them. Bastard. I was hoping he did. Nothing to be done for that. So I'm going to need to reset the night at some point to respawn the enemies so I can kill them and get in there. That might be the very next thing I do, actually, because I'm kind of... Besides going to the end of the game, I'm sort of running out of stuff to do. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting to the end of, like, the, the, the side quest chains here. Again, what's in the night, Mother's Cottage? I think it's just a mirror. Yeah. Nothing but. One would assume the night, Mother. Well, you assume wrong! That is why they do not pay you the big bucks! Agree. Hello again. Have a good time with the game. Serpent, thank you for the three months. We 
dealt with whatever was in the hidden... Yeah, see, like, it loops around, so that makes sense that that would be the case. Anyway. Travel elsewhere. Church of the First Angel. To figure out what these first kindlings do. So we have four things here. It's offer Flynn be granted the ancient rites of defense. Four out of four. Be granted the ancient rites of spellcraft. That's not incredibly useful to me. Ancient rites of smithing. Whatever the hell that means. Smithing? Do I look like a bloody smith to you? It's the same run as the stream as yesterday evening. Yeah. I haven't finished the game yet. I guess I'll take the Ancient Rites of Defense, maybe it'll make me sh I don't know what this does, to be clear. I got a permanent grimoire. Allows outfits to be upgraded to plus five with bloody thread. Ah. Okay. Okay, so I guess I assume that- okay, now I understand what this does. This means I can upgrade armor to plus five, this means I can upgrade spells to plus five, and that probably meant I could upgrade weapons to plus five. Well, given that I am, at present, fresh out of any upgrade materials at all, that makes fuck all difference. That does not make a damn bit of difference to me. <laughs> not even a little bit. It's like 1% per upgrade as well. So now, like, I could make it so that my armor has minus... Like, 20% physical defense, which would be pretty good, actually. It's not bad, it's just, like, not incredibly inspiring. Right, I think the next order of business is to reset the night. I'm really reticent to do this, because it means respawning literally everything. <laughs> Why are you all out? Why are you all out of wax, man? Can I even reset the night? Do I have enough stuff? I do. Hit me. Means more loot. I don't really need more loot is the thing. I need stuff to be done, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Better to do this before I go complete the final area though, because then I won't have to re-complete the final area. At least I think. Well, I've reset the night, which means I have respawned fucking everything in the game world. Also, I can get two goddamn tokens. It's also like, reset the map. Ugh, that's the worst. Reset the map. <sighs> pain. Pain, pain, pain. Yeah, I just- I need two more tokens and then I can crack on with whatever the hell is inside the tower. The other tower. There's like multiple different kinds of tower going on here. This was the one thing we didn't want to happen. Stop stumbling backwards when I hit you. Yeah, there's a village token. Uh, there's a finger. Hey, B. I forgot about the tricked rock. How could you? It's like the defining point of withering runes. Ow. There, now I have more than enough tokens. So I've just got to hack and slash my way through this room in specific.
That dog is gonna die. Good effort. I mean, I say die, he just teleports back to him. Like, he's fine. You can pick him up again later. The dog, the dog definitionally cannot die. There's an achievement for activating 20 shrines, and I swear I've done that, but... And yet, I do not have it. I've got 25 items remembered, which... Like, how many shrines could I possibly be missing? I've, like, covered the game world back to fucking front at this point. What do you want from me? 20 shrines in one run? It's... They're permanent. Like, they're, they're permanent. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, see, this. I couldn't get in this because I needed five tokens. Hiya. 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 Am I still remembered? I'm remembered. Okay. Oh. Endeavor to not find out. Ow. Oh, that somehow touched me that time. That sucks. I am, unfortunately, kind of wrecking the shit out of these guys otherwise. Just about reach. Is this it? Is this all you do? How'd that not hit? What the fuck? Die! Dickhead. Position, uncurse yourself. There. Defeat a foe in the valley. Hey, I got a weapon upgrade kit. And a remembrance too. Uh, one of their hands appears to be having a Bethesda moment down there. Oh, no, that's actually a real hand. That just hit me. Can I hit it back? No, it's... Okay, I think whatever that is, that's probably supposed to have gone away by now. Which helped me put an end to the wretch king. So you can gather an ingredient for me. I need black wax. Got plenty of that. Will you help me destroy the wretch king? Yes. I have that. I've got it. Did I do a good thing there, or what? Bayonet. Weapon. I 
mean, I'm sticking with the axe, probably no matter what at this point. I did anything. I believe there's this this side quest actually like forks in two directions. Hey, there's the mirror. Is this the door that opens to the other side? Yeah, it is. There we go. This is the door I couldn't open before. We've solved one mystery. So, like, you can either do the king's bidding or you can conspire against him, and I've, I've conspired against him. Say open up already. I haven't got all day. Hurry up! I haven't got all day. Wait, I can buy hardy rolls now? Did their selection expand when the night changed? have four hearty rolls now whenever I desire? This is amazing. I don't know if there's any way I can level up anymore. Like, I think I've hit max. Maybe maybe not as far as, like, new... Maybe, I think New Game Plus probably adds a new way to level. So you can keep the number up going strong. But I think I've... I've fully explored every possible level up opportunity, and it caps at 45, which is... That can't be right! Why is it not 50? <laughs> My melee damage is 400%. Dunk a Remembrance tier into that shite. Don't really have anything worth remembering. Let's go back to the throne room. I'm sure nothing bad is happening there. Although all the enemies in the hallway have gone over respawn. We can go to and correct 45 is the max non-new game plus, but at least I, I've, I've thoroughly explored the possibility space. Hate it here. Actually, no, I don't need to fight stuff in this room, so how about we just don't? Fucking backstepper. Uh, mind the grenade, Horace? Okay, well... You are a dog, after all, I guess. I guess, I guess it's not in your nature to worry about that kind of thing. What the? Yeah, at the very least, I don't need to, like, explore all manner of side rooms. I can just kind of move on with my life. Should equip the shield. She blew up the king. Along with herself, unfortunately. Oh, grim. Her clothes? We did it. Now what's next? <laughs> Can I have some living monsters? Shut up! You're ruining the cutscene! You need the place to have just said, talks about in the mirror. Nowhere. We'll be in a better place to help Nightingale there as well. Sure she doesn't relish tiptoeing about the mansion to seek us out. I suppose not. Oh, I guess they all moved to nowhere, so now they can help me with my upgrades. I got an achievement. That's cool. Received 10% less curse damage, and I picked up Dirty Initiate Dress. It's a spell casting thing. The one she blew up in? Yeah, apparently. They're fine, though. Completed a plot against the king. There's... It, there's another achievement for going along with the king's plan and just sending her back, I assume? Yeah, seems like it. Stupid child! Uh, what I'm gonna... Where is the artifact? Where's the whistle? 
I'd like to use it to send Horace back so I can pick him up again, because I'm about to cross through nowhere again. Where is it? Where is it in my stupid inventory? I have too many things. It's hard to find the one thing I actually want to use. Is it a tool? Do you count as a tool? It's a tool. Goodbye. Fuck you! Why is it so hard to dodge roll those? So, order of business now is go complete the final area, and then return to the cholera clinic to complete the business there, and then I can get the third ending. And then I can finish the playthrough. Plus three gun, please. What if I also had... <laughs> Plus one annihilation. Go on then. That sounds fun. All right, to the blood tower. One thing at a time for the lift. How did the dog beat me up here? Holy shit, he's powerful. Right, this is a mainline area, so I don't imagine... Okay, you're actually kind of getting in the way. I appreciate your spirit, Horace, but you're actually kind of getting in the way of my game plan there. Hang on, bloody Dow. More bloody thread as well. I just picked up a new weapon all of a sudden. Fucking clown car of stats on this one. 30% of physical damage done is also applied to the wielder. That's not great. Not especially not for the setup I've got. I swing at anything and it like instantly kills me. Gotta heal. Eat the roll, Nightingale. Arcane salts. Arcane salts as an item in general were not in the game. Ow, that sucks. Got that stanky paralysis. Paralysis helps so much with dealing with these dudes. Dull silver ring? That's pretty rude. Nope, oh, hello. This is a boss fight room. gonna like run in and go for it. I got paralysis, I got bleed. Ah, but they got terror. What an annoying effect. Right, that never stops past a certain point, doesn't it?
Uh, gun is really my only out here. Not if they just fucking run. Oh, it wore off. It wore off. It's okay. Would you like to equip your weapon? Ow. Blind spot. Pee pee poo poo. Dealt with it. Oh! <laughs> Went ramrod stiff like. There we go. That's a good one. Jobs are good in there. Ow. My face. My blood. You punched out all my blood. GG easy. I'm just, I'm very strong now. Much stronger than I usually am when I do like this part of the game. This is balanced for you to, like, not finish all of the content and then do it, you know? Which isn't a problem. This is, you know, you can beat this game at a leisurely pace. It doesn't take, like, 20 hours to become strong enough to complete this part of the game. But I'm doing... I'm doing, I'm doing a main story area, like, after completing all of the side content. So, obviously, I am very, very powerful. Dress, that's nice. Look at you. What? Motherfucker's not even regarding, like, I'm here, you know? Ow. So I'll spend the first aid kit on that. But I won't be happy about it. I remember this one. Four and two. In you go. See, now, now we're getting back into my comfort zone. Areas of the game that are like part of the speed run. <laughs> As opposed to all this new shit they added to the game. This game almost tripled in size over its early access. Like. That entire, like, church basement area was not in the game when I played it. Then that entire area in the valley, that wasn't in the game when I played it. The circus, that wasn't in the game when I played it. Like, quite a lot wasn't in the game when I played it. HNQ. Robert's lift key. Uh, excitingly, this means I can actually just sort of go to the end of the game now, or well, where I could get a conventional ending, but I'm not quite done. Not quite done done, not yet at least. Almost. We're getting there. To the roof! Yeah, see? See as part of the main quest, secure a large collection of idols and return to Lara in the cholera clinic. And here it is. Here they are. 
He has all the idols. Hey, Grim Grimmelkin. I am remembered. Very cool. He won't notice me here. I once again have the lantern equipped for much longer than I should. Oh, Serpent Heart, hid with a flower and face, did ever a dragon keep so fair a cave? Betrayed by my own daughter, Margaret released the wretched master over on the top, but she didn't do it alone, did she? No, destroyed my guardian angel. My nightingale could have put a stop to this. But I don't blame you, but a simulacrum, a remnant of an older iteration of the dream. How could you appreciate something so fantastic as this tower? Love hanging out at the Guts Force? It, it's it's blood, I'll have you know, and it sustains the tower. Leave this tower and never Are you going to attack me? No. Yes, I'm grateful, Urgent. You shouldn't even exist, should you? So I put this game to see a little Steam Key email caught my attention. I know, right? Honestly, at the time, I just kind of appreciated the balls to send a one-line description of the game with a Steam Key. On paper, that is a horrible way to pitch your game in an email. In practice, it was like... <laughs> I wouldn't say everyone make a habit out of doing that, but in practice, it kind of caught my eye because of how blunt it was. Like, no pictures, nothing. Just, it's like a clock... The, the description was like, this is like a clock tower action RPG, and I was like, that's quite a sentence you've given me here. So I looked at the trailer, and the trailer was like... The trailer made me think... I remember this, this thought went through my brain, where I was like, the trailer gave me the impression that the game was either really cool or really awful with no in-between. And astoundingly, it was actually the, like the good thing. It was, it's really good. <laughs> like, it's quite good. I think it's quite a good game. But you, you can definitely see how like the, uh, the look of the game might lead me to think is like, this is either amazing or awful, you know? Like it's a bit janky looking, I'm not gonna lie. But like, is it is it janky affectionate or is it just janky? In ter it turns out it's janky affectionate. Also, here's the final boss, sort of. Is it this Priscilla? Take care of Margaret until I'll be free. And then she is gonna kill me. I'm gonna hit her with axe. She's vulnerable to paralysis? Oh, she is so cooked. I'm not actually, I'm hitting the body, not the. Yo, I got I got bad news for you, Priscilla. I got Priscilla's vulnerable. She, I got bad news for you, Priscilla. That is not a good status effect to be vulnerable to. That's not a good status effect to be vulnerable to against this build, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was the final part of the game. End it. See, you see what I mean? The the by far and away the hardest boss in this game is is Beast Nightingale. That boss is super over fucking tuned. It's like the only thing that gave me significant trouble. Cool. Even none, what none of us had the strength to. My father was ill and clearly Priscilla had gone mad from being in the dream for two. It's time for the dream to end. Savage Peter Spofford to say, conclusion paralysis OP. It really is quite strong. I was gathering one, but you can disable them all. This is where you get like an ending choice. We can end the dream forever. I can't promise it will be pleasant, but it will be real with no one dead. If you destroy the dream, all of us who are no longer alive in the reward are finished. What about you? You'll be nearly 40 years old if you're alive at all. Yeah, nearly 40, might as well be dead, whatever. There's a different path. Become our queen. Reshape the dream into something better. So, normally, getting the destroy all the idols ending is faster. We can make Peter's original fantasy of dream as paradise real. You have a decision to make. Take as much time as you can. Finish any remaining business you had in the dream. And business I do have. Fuck the pair of you. See you later. So, normally, you talk to Margaret and destroy all the idols, and that's, like, the fastest. That's not right. I don't want to be in the basement. The basement sucks. Let me out of here. No, what I want is the lobby. Lobby! No curses in my lobby! Yeah, my quest... Only the Night Mother's quest is now active, so we're off to the Cholera Clinic. To go finish the game. At least, I think so. Like, I'm gonna check my achievement list. What am I missing? 
Uh, defeat a foe in the cholera clinic. That's probably like the true, well, not the true boss, but like the boss of this route. Achieve ending C. That's the ending I'm going for. Defeat a foe in central nowhere. I think that's no game plus. That's new game plus. And the rest is all like either mutually exclusive achievements or kill all the enemies. There's something about the wronger room. I don't know what that is. Is Granny Wave Dash still the fastest? I believe so. Yes. Yep, I think I think we've done everything that's possible to do. I, I've probably missed, like, maybe a couple of side quest chains, but, like, minor ones. Nothing attached to an achievement, at least. This playthrough has been quite comprehensive, and we're finally coming up on the end of it. Granny lives. It's definitely still the fastest ending. This, this ending that I'm going for is definitely not faster. It takes... <laughs> you have to do... So much bullshit to get this ending. There's Oni. This is this this ending type that I've gone for is by no definition faster than the granny wave dash. No fucking shot. <laughs> I have so much money. I'll buy some violence pills. Why not? Got more money than sense at this point. Just an unseasonable amount of money. Hey Valhime. Hope everyone is well and enjoying the stream. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream as well. I honestly... It, it is a mark of some considerable endurance on my part that I am streaming at all, because I have gotten maybe three to four hours of sleep tops. But I want to finish Withering Rooms, so I can play other games. I want to finish this properly. Okay, to the Cholera Clinic. Uh, unfortunately, because I reset the map, I have to just- I have to clear my way through this again, which I hate. I hate it. Protective Ring against Necrosis. That sounds mint right now, because this area is Necrosis fucking central. 75% less necrosis buildup. That's pretty good. I can't say I dislike that. <sighs> but I'd have to trade off one of my very good rings for it. I don't know. Oh, that's good. In the bathroom with me. This is like a puzzle, by the way. As far I think you just have to not. Oh, did I look back to the? T I did. Damn. Did I already do that one? Three. Oh. Uh. It's it's to do with the number of bodies on the side. I think I like trial and errored the solution to this one. I thought it was you didn't pick the side where the bodies repeat, but it seems like it's not that. Shit, what is the puzzle here? <laughs> Whatever the puzzle was, it's not what I thought. I thought it was picking what doesn't repeat, but it doesn't actually seem to be the case. Fuck. The order isn't fixed either, so like, whatever the logic here is, I don't really understand it. Six, three, seven. And then two? Ah! Hi. 
the instruments and I can get access to the idol, there remains but one last we need an idol. We've been nurturing growing one here in the cholera clinic. There's an iteration of Robert Blackett imprisoned upstairs. Take this cholera clinic cage key and unlock his cage. Carve the idol, taint it out from his chest, and return it to me. Okay. Question, how do I get back up there? Hello? I jump I jumped down to get here. Okay, we still have one last boss to kill. Oh my goodness. No, 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 get me out of the necrosis shit. Don't love that. Would you like to attack the enemy killing you? I guess not. What does necrosis do? Permanently fucks your max health. is, and this is true, bad. Okay, she's gonna die of bleed. How is that not hitting? I do not believe you. You are lying to me. Oh shit, yeah, it builds up over time and as your necrosis gets more severe, uh, you lose more and more of your max health. Okay, I dealt with it. God, I am so much stronger now. Really feeling the difference having... So yeah, I've, I've got a tiny bit of necrosis build up, so I'm losing a little bit of max HP. But that's... Given that everything in this game hits really fucking hard, that is not good at all. Like, in any context. It's never good. Necrosis, uh, sucks. A lot. You'd really rather not have that problem. <laughs> friend. Nice, nice. Alright, I just need to cook this fool. <laughs> like, he's already putting up the dukes. He's ready. He's stanced. Don't let him drink the vial! Perhaps I'll take- He's become too powerful! Oh, he's vulnerable to paralysis as well. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, he is also vulnerable to paralysis. <laughs> Fair play to the game for allowing the bosses to, like, even be vulnerable to these status elements, but... This is gonna be a slaughter, dude. Like, look- <laughs> Oh, man! <laughs> I literally, I gained health during that fight. I gained health. Did he even hit me? I think he hit me exactly once. I gained health. My health vampirism was such that I gained health during that fight. Perfect, truly. I think that's it. Like, I think we're ready to end the game now. There is simply nothing else that released it. Impression that paralysis is the hot strat. You can't consistently get it though. Like, I was lucky. I found a ring that had the property of convert 16% physical damage to paralysis build up. Uh, and then, actually, I have. I have three rings that convert some of my physical damage to paralysis buildup. Four, actually. All four of them do it. All four of them convert some of my damage to paralysis buildup, which is incredibly unlikely.
So basically, if an enemy isn't immune to paralysis, they're getting fucked. I think that's it. I think I'm ready to just end the game with end because like that was that was it. Robert Blackett's like the the bonus boss of this route. Ready to bring the world into the dream. Okay, let's do it. Give me ending C. Epilogue. London, 1916. In a dream, the Night Mother Disciple draws the whole of the earth into the dream. Nightingale is brought to London. Why? Why London? Isn't it grand? Westminster Palace, Big Ben here in the dream. The entire world in the dream. Look at them going about their business. They think it's a normal night. They don't yet realize this is the night that never ends. That they are immortal. That life will never again return to the way it was. You have much work to do. They must be taught about the Night Mother and the gift they have been given. But for now, just for a moment, let's enjoy the view. Ending C! Developed by Troy West. This is a solo developed project. This is like a fucking 20 hour game. <laughs> GG. Time, it was much longer than 11 hours. Death's one. It's stupid. Achieve ending C, done and dusted. Prologue, West Basement Stairwell, in a dream. It just immediately, it just, it just goes straight into New Game Plus. But there's a punchy in the special I thanks. Agree. Ending. Ending. Huntman Bear Pig, thank you for the. Is, is, it wasn't a punch in the special thanks. As Nightingale makes a choice, a curious pair of eyes open in a forgotten corner of Moston House. I'm on the. Am I in the special? F Sorry, are you fucking with me? Did you see what I didn't see? There was what? Sorry, can you? Can we? Can we? Can I get a clip on that? <laughs> I didn't- I wasn't looking, I didn't see. It's on Moby Games? Special thanks, Punchy. What? What did I do? Surely she deserves another time to get more time to slake the great. I played the game. I did, but like, so did Failmore. <laughs> you know. Spoken very well of the game. I think I speak of the. I think of it as well as that. I also get like frustrated with it quite a bit sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the greatest salesman ever. Hey, Dev, if you're watching, please fucking nerf Beast Nightingale. It's way over to do That boss is crazy. Well. Oh, my items! Shit, I am in the special thanks. <laughs> I thought you were fucking with me. It really is it. I really am in the special thanks. What the fuck? Someone, thank you for thank you for the clip, Hope. But also, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What did I do? <laughs> Why would I lie to you? I don't know. Just. I just- I didn't see it. I wasn't looking, because I, I wasn't looking for myself. Congrats. Well, that's nice of them. That's a lovely gesture. Although I don't really know what I did. 
You are better than me! Wow. Uh, this is New Game Plus now. We have some time to investigate New Game Plus before the Nintendo Direct starts, right? Wait, when does, when does the Nintendo... When does it start? The, the, the Nintendo Indie Direct? I think it's in like an hour. I actually, I kind of, where is it? I kind of can't find it. Here it is. Yeah, it starts in like an hour. Let me open that on another tab. Hey, Funland Robot. I need a heart so I can activate that shrine. Oh, you're where you shouldn't be. Okay, so that's a difference of New Game Plus, like, right away. Like, why are you here? Why are you there, where you are, and not somewhere else? We have some time to investigate New Game Plus a lot. I never did a lot of New Game. It's f it's kind of fucked up that I'm in the special thanks for a game I never really did all the content for until exactly now. Because, you know, it was a lot of it wasn't in the game when I streamed it in Early Access. Uh, my build is still absolutely... Absolutely demolishing. Demolishing the fools. God, what if, what if a New Game Plus speedrun, huh? I feel like a New Game Plus speedrun would be really hard to set up. Like, you can copy your save files. I guess it's probably because I did the game on GDQ Hotfix. They, they did tweet that out, so, like, I know they saw it. It was one of my top games last year. Not last year, because it didn't come out last year. Even in Early Access, it was 2022. Trying to make a video essay. <laughs> world's... World's biggest withering rooms evangelist, apparently. Moderator spear run thing? Yeah, but like, no one post runs to the door, you know? That's not, that's not a big deal. I don't know, <laughs> just surprised is all. You are better than me! Ooh, bloody thread. You just get bloody threads, like, whatever now? Cool. Not that I really have- STUPID CHILD! Well now I've played a very comprehensive game of Withering Rooms at least. I've seen all the content, I can claim to have played much Withering Rooms. And the Spiro game is dedication? It... You know, yes, to some extent. How many tears do I have? What the fuck? Who needs this many remembrance slots? What am I even remembering? I have nothing. Roll. I don't know, roll for- who cares? Just remember stuff. Uh, once again, being vulnerable to paralysis is a really fatal weakness against this build. <laughs> Don't barf on me! Oh god, everything is out to fight. They're all throwing hands! Less of that. I do not have the tonic jar. If I remembered a tonic jar, that'd make this run even better. Oh hello, right, you. I forgot about you. But you're the new thing. What took you so long? I couldn't remember the door. What the hell is starry flesh? 
and scrape it off those men with the writhing limbs for heads. Hi? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you use selective words! What are you planning? Sorry, I couldn't tell if someone was knocking on my door or if it was coming from the game or it's it's construction. There's construction work going on outside. Package? I had a package delivered already. That's why I was like a bit surprised if there was a second package, you know? What the hell is starry flesh? Can scrape it off those dudes with the writhing limbs for heads. Door knock audio clip one. Absolutely not. <laughs> I would hate that. I'm actually really glad there's construction work going on directly outside my house and that it's really loud. Uh, not because it's not annoying, because it is, but because it vindicates me for playing DDR uh, in my living room until like 6 p.m. Because it's like, well, they're doing construction work outside the fucking house anyway, so... Why not? <laughs> Nanny saw that. <laughs> ah, right, this is rather more of a sticky wicket than usual. I don't have, like, 12 million healing items to work with. Oh my god, you bleed out so fast. Is it... Are you what she was talking... Yeah, you, you've got writhing limbs for head. That seems like a thing. What are you? Angel fool. Starry flesh. Okay, we found it. Whatever the hell starry flesh is, it's that. So these guys show up on New Game Plus, I suppose. Why did you equip the knife, you jackass? Paralysis Gaming. Paralysis is really strong. Okay, so what's this all about? I never did this. Come in and I'll explain everything. Enter the hole. Central Nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the New Game Plus business. Welcome to hell. I suppose I can properly introduce myself now. I am Millie Airwood, 1891, the fourth. No, that's not. Yeah, that is the fourth, right? Roman. I hate Roman numerals. I can't do that. For one reason, the first one is returning from her journey to the center of the dream. That's not a good thing. She means to devour us all, just like she has so many other iterations. Seeing as how you've already bested everyone else in the dream, I thought there might be a chance of an infinitesimal that you could stop her. The plan is simple. Twenty starry flesh. Uh! Then you do your stabby thing. Easy. In classic Airwoodian fashion, I've turned the whole thing into a bit of a game. Bring the derelict doll your starry flesh and she'll give you incredible prizes. Obviously, we need to get you in top fighting form. I can help you to become stronger as well. Shimata. to permanently upgrade a thing. One of those at least, I need that for progress. The Church of Burdens. Only once God is fell will access be granted. Okay, so I need to get... What are you? Great misfortune will befall the horde of this, but your foes will become more powerful than you can imagine. You'll be hunted. Each page of your life shall become blemished. Cast it away and let your suffering end. Will you take the book? No. <laughs> what do you mean? What does that do? Do you mind? That sounds fucking terrifying, thank you. I do not much like the sound of that.
Oh, you can just... So much of my money carried over. Oh yeah, because I have all that coin purse shit, don't I? You can just... You can just buy shotgun shells now. That's incredible. Uh, buy a sword. You can buy blood, although I'm like... I'm absolutely... Full of... I'm already full of blood. Like, I'm good. But apparently I have zero blood. None of it carried over. But that's okay. Prizes. <gasps> I can trade my organ grease for starry flesh. That's mint. What we got here? Or blood as well. That's good. Rakesh's Diary, permanent lab manual, contains recipes for nail trap, browser trap, grenade, and shotgun bullet. Ooh, exciting. I could get that, actually. Hardened flesh equivalent. That's a level up is what that is. Prismatic, heal 1% of health every five seconds. Shit, that's nice. Whoa! Cool sword! <laughs> Flamethrower! <laughs> White wax. Inverted gaze. When fully cursed, the world appears normal. With no curse, but the world appears one with fully cursed. Inverted gaze. These all sound amazing, frankly. Let's trade all my organ grease in. Let's get the sword. Look at that fucking thing. It's permanent too, so I don't have to worry about that. It seems a little weaker in terms of the raw damage, but it has significantly greater curse damage. And I guess it can also be a- look at this fucking thing, holy shit. Oh, this is cool! More grease! Sir, I need the grease. Prizes. Damn it, I only have room for one thingy. Does it get more expensive? No. What's the story remembrance tier? Can be dropped into a remembrance shrine to remember additional item. I don't need to remember any additional items, bro. These are all permanent. Flamethrower. <laughs> Flamethrower. Gradually curses the holder while in use. Oh, look at all this shit. I want it. You got it. We've got to see the flamethrower, right? Like, can't you can't possibly <laughs> you can't possibly tell me not to try the flamethrower. Uh, I don't suppose there's a chair I can uncurse myself within here. Seems like that might be more of a normal nowhere thing rather than central nowhere. Damn it, now I want to do, like... <sighs> Son of the bitch, now I want to do the New Game Plus shenanigans. <laughs> no! No, I want to play through the game again! You gave me a flamethrower in New Game Plus? That's fucking hilarious! Come on! <laughs> That's so... <laughs> Look at this nonsense! That's so fucked! Uh, where am I gonna put you in the wheel? I'll put you there. You can be on eight. Whatever. Give, give me a stupid ass gun for New Game Plus. Absolutely, I am so down for that. Especially because I, I need to seek out more enemies to kill so I can have more starry flesh and trade them for the funny prizes. New Game Plus only endings? Yeah, seems like it. There's we gotta destroy a uh, gotta destroy Millie Edward.
That was different. I wasn't really paying attention, but that was different. It's a it's a flamethrower. Does what it says on the fucking tin, mate. Where'd you come from? Ah, oh, but it doesn't inflict bleed. It inflicts curse at a really rapid rate, though. Oh, the fact it doesn't do any bleeding damage, though, that kind of stinks. It does to inflict paralysis though, which is pretty good. It looks fucking cool. It does look very cool. But I, I fear my axe might actually still be stronger. Taken a look at the curio cabinet in the occult? No, I suppose I haven't actually. That's different. Are we just talking about this? Oh, I thought we were talking of like something new. We've, we've, we've seen this before. Starry flesh. Turn more things into grease, turn it into flesh, get bonuses, get rewards, get prizes. Get funny stuff like flamethrower. Hey, J Rex. Thank you for the four months. I never bought the grandfather clock key. <laughs> Let's do that now. Just, so, just to square that one away. Steady. Steady. Oh, Alfred. I'm sorry. Yeah, funny enough, despite the, the starry greatsword being a, a sword made of stars, I actually think my axe is still slightly better. <laughs> Depends on the enemy type, though. If an enemy is, like, vulnerable to curse damage, or, like, I benefit from applying... Because curse doesn't wear off once inflicted. That's the big weapon for curse damage. Ghosts. Yeah, the the big weapon for curse damage is that it does not under any circ like enemies can't get rid. It doesn't wear off over time. Paralysis wears off. Bleeding eventually goes away. Poison eventually wears off. Curse does not. If you are curse rotted, that enemy is going to slowly die. So as long as you can like time them out once curse is applied, you're good. to kill. I've already got the key, don't I? What? I have to find it again? 
What, did I like, throw the goddamn key away after I found it the first time? Go away! Who asked you? Stupid ghost, you make me look bad. Fancy yourself at night! I do, in fact, fancy myself at night. It's especially funny now that I... Alright, this fucking ghost is pissing me off. You've got to... I'm... Consider your picture... Taken! Don't criticize my one-liners, okay? I'm under a lot of stress. I've, I've got... God, I've got a shank. Oh, leave me alone, small child. Also, this fucking thing has shown up. Not loving that. I... Fuck off! Ah! <laughs> Shit! Why are there so many ghosts running around down here? Ghosts are birds! Who invented birds anyway? I'm not sure where that other thing went. One. Damn, I can just eat that fireball on the nose and not even break poise. Oh, thank God. Photo ammo. Bitch! Got him. That was a new bestiary entry? I really hadn't got that one before? I need- I want my axe back on three, dude. You can go on something. I don't know, I'm not using this. Bestiary. 82 out of 89, apparently. I've almost completed the bestiary. What am I missing? I'm missing whatever 15 is. <laughs> Floating failure. Mood. I'm missing whatever 80, 79 is. 81. 85. What could these be? Oh, I'm also, I'm, I'm also willing to bet I'm probably missing some of the New Game Plus enemies as well, right? Like maybe 85 is a New Game Plus enemy, I don't know. It seems like 87 through 89 are also probably New Game Plus enemies, given the position in the beastie area here, you know? wondering why they weren't taking any poison damage when I hit them, but then I remembered that they, they just don't. These enemies don't do that. Find the red thread merchant? Yeah, I did. Sup, dickhead? Turn around! Oh, there's- there's- I found 15. Curse Sentinel. That's convenient. Uh, the Red Thread Merchant, it turns out, you find by jumping off the roof of the mansion. Found you. He's, uh, he's off the- he's off the left side of the map. Which I didn't realize was even available to you. Sorry. You did what and why? Death unto you.
There you go, another room sufficiently withered. We have withered the room so hard, we have finished the game, and I'm now, like, investigating New Game Plus. Which it turns out is quite different and kind of cool. It gives you... A fucking flamethrower. Like, that's just a flamethrower. I can just... I... Bro... Bro is flaming. Wonder if it hits multiple enemies? It sure does. It's a giant flamethrower. Why is there a candle here? That's a bit concerning. <laughs> oh! Well, I think I've learned the reason for the candle. What is that? What is that? What does that do? Nice. Fucking incredible gameplay. Can there any new Game Plus exclusive enemies? Yes. That thing. There's new enemy types show up in- okay, so in New Game Plus, it appears that the goal is to achieve, uh, fight a big boss, the biggest boss of them all by collecting 20 starry flesh, and you scrape them off of angels that show up. Oh good, I'm cursed enough to run through this. Categorically uninterested in actually, like, fighting the ghosts, though. Okay, I lost a bit of my blood there, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Not again! I want your fingers, though. That's the thing, I really just want fingers. Bro leaned forward and... I got fucking hit out of going through the door. Stop that. Eat a ration. This isn't the right way. No stupid ghosts. Paralysis is awesome. It's really strong. It's really powerful. Oi. Go away! Stupid child. Haha! -ha, made it. Sort it out. Uh, I guess I'm just powering through New Game Plus now. What's up? I got time to kill until the Nintendo Indie Direct thingamabob. I would like to watch that. See if there's any cool new video games. Well, oh, she's par she's paralyzed. Ah, uh -huh. no, fucker, no. <laughs> Jesus! Hey, Undying Moon. How's the game going? We finished it. We finished it with the, the ending scene. I'm currently investigating New Game Plus. Which it turns out branches off into a whole other thing. And it's. You get a flamethrower and a sword that look. That, see, this is the flamethrower. Uh, and you also get a sword that looks like this. And yet, ironically, it's probably not as strong as me just uh, hitting stuff with my axe at the moment. Although the sword may have some use because it curses enemies, and it curses them quite quickly.
Really, are you going to make me solve the puzzle again? Are you really going to do that to me? You're a bricky one. Father, sister, mother. Div, always div. Is it always div? Is this puzzle not randomized? Huh. Well, anyway. Let's end chapter one. Yes, 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 we know all about this. Hey, Clappy, how yoinky is the spoinky? Very. We finished the game. We made good time. So now I'm in I've got, like, about an hour to kill, so I'm investigating New Game Plus. My stomach. <gasps> suddenly... I have... I suddenly have the hurt tummy. Ooh. Ow. E. Like, go. You're really gonna make me solve the puzzle again? You're a weapon, you are. I mean, New Game Plus runs can definitely be a thing under these restrictions. Although, the thing about New Game Plus runs is that resetting them would be a giant pain in the ass. You'd basically have to manually manage save files, but you could do it. It would not be physically impossible. Yep, I've... my... into the wrong room? I never figured out what the wronger room was all about. It doesn't seem like there's any specific need to progress the uh, the main story to go about the New Game Plus stuff, but I would like to gain access to more areas by progressing the story. Because then there can, I can find more angels to get wax off of. Or starry flesh, rather. I am going to kill you, though. Or, well, I'm going to try to and probably fail and get cursed or something. <sighs> Paralysis doesn't fucking work. Well, oh no, it does work. I'm gonna, like, stand out of the range. Uh, well, I thought I was going to stand out of the range of that, but hitboxes. Turn around. Well, I'd say that more or less worked out. I'm not complaining. Hey, I got grease. some spells. I've gained too much curse and it gave me tummy hurt. For sure. What's in the chest? Oh. Pain. 
There's something on your face. It was pain! Now that, that sentence probably instantly killed everyone in my chat over the age of 30. This game makes me make such strange fucking noises. <laughs> the paralysis is so good, dude. Now, do you guys suspect this is a mimic? I bet you it's real. Oh, it was real. I can't I can't do anything approaching a Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> How was that? That was the bombing initiate. The bombing initiate uh bombs you. Stupid child! Man. He's made of blood. This enemy was not in the game when I played it in early access. I'll tell you that for now, because there was a whole post about it. Like I went scrolling through the update history to see what had changed. And the answer is quite a lot. Are you immune to paralysis? Yes. Damn it! My strategy has been countered. This sucks. No! Didn't trick me that time. I will take your bones, however. That gets many bricks of money. I think the game's done pretty okay for themselves at this point. Like, given that it's a solo developed project, oh, the thing is, I don't know what the budget was, but... <laughs> In the nicest way... <laughs> I, I was gonna complete that thought and then I realized it was gonna sound really fucking rude. So I'm gonna complete the thought anyway with the full knowledge that this sentence is about to not come out right. I don't know what the budget was, but evidently, I don't think it was very high. You know? Oh, not again! Fuck off! <laughs> like, it's a solo developed game, right? So... On, on the on games developed on this scale of development, you don't I'm not I'm not calling him poor. Fuck off! That is not what I meant. On this scale of development, you don't actually have to sell as many copies as you might think in order to make money. Like we're very accustomed to modern games where that is a ghost individual. We're very accustomed to modern games where, you know, like, you can sell two million and lose money. Oh, that did so much damage! Holy shit! Whereas that is just- it's not the case with indie games. You can sell, like, a few thousand copies, maybe even a few hundred, and make a, a reasonable profit. Compensate low budget with time investment. Yeah, so you pretty much just have like one person's overhead in order to make it work, and that is that as a as a value calculation is infinitely more workable. Like the guy, like for instance, the guy who made Bellatro, right? That game sold a million, which is an incredible number for an indie game. That guy's a, that guy is actually a millionaire now. Which, given that it's a solo developed game, that's a lot of money. You don't have to sell anywhere close to that amount in order to make a profit. And since Withering Rooms is a full release, it seems like... It 
it seems like it has probably sold at least like a probably a few like a couple thousand or something something like that because it, it like peaked at like well 300 players or something and that doesn't mean 300 sales it's more like a factor kind of thing i don't know point is i'm i'm reasonably sure the guy made some money off this although again i can't know how much he put into it but I suspect it was a it was a conservative figure, and I don't say that to be mean. I really don't. <laughs> oh. Uh! Ow. It just fucking the world at you, Jesus. You missed shithead. Give me your flesh. Guys, I need to reveal an unfortunate truth about my current situation. I need to fart. Ow. Since the, since the game's full release and also its console release, I imagine the developer of this game has made some money from their labor. Which is nice, and I'm happy for them, especially because it seems like prior to the game's full release, me and maybe three other people had ever heard of this game, you know? I'd, I've, I'd been champion- I'd been- I'd been champ- championing this one for a good couple years now, you know? Oh, they're paralyzed and on the ceiling! I can't hit them when the- <laughs> They found the strat to counter the paralysis tech, goddamn. No! No! Eh. No! Get off the fuck! Stop it! Oh! I didn't hit that Yonky Splinky. Hey, Felix. Hello again. Right, well, I've got plenty of fingers and stuff now I can convert into the grease. You know, this game until you, Ek, and Borg are playing it. It's it very suddenly, like, well, I say suddenly, you know. But uh, post the, the full release, it got a lot more attention. Which is good. I mean, that's how it's supposed to work. You know, you release, you do your full release, and suddenly, ah, now people are interested. That makes like it makes sense that that would happen. I'm just glad it did happen because you know th there was also the equally likely outcome that the game released out of early access and just no one gave a shit. You know, it's scary out here. I'm not really sure what made it suddenly pick up steam. Maybe it's just that it's like good. <laughs> people like me won't shut the fuck up about it because it's weird and interesting and novel. You have many fingers. I would like them. Give me your fingers. There's 300 reviews on Steam, so even that mount is pretty incredible for a single dev. Yeah, that's not bad. I forget what the like the general factor for uh, like Steam reviews to purchases is, but it's it depends on the type of game, for one thing. But there is like a ratio for that. Ow, my face. It did suddenly feel like every, every, like, horror game streamer was suddenly playing it at once, and I was like, ah, I see we've all caught up to where I was. As usual, you are all years behind the curve. Although I will say, I do think the game has improved over its time in early access. I mean, it's bigger, for one thing, there's just more of it. Enjoying this gatekeep. I'm not gatekeeping. I'm not gatekeeping. That's rude. I have never gate kept in my life.
Just, I liked this game before it was cool. That's all I'm saying. But, you know, now that it is cool, you're more than welcome. Alright, I got some prizes. <sighs> Turns the wearer into a spirit, affects similar to a spirit twig, but is indefinite in length. That's a level up. That is new spells, which is probably the most interesting thing I can purchase. It's not really what I want to purchase, but it is the most interesting. Oh, I can upgrade outfits without having to, like, find the guy. Hell yeah. Do it again, man. I have golden armor plus five, and I have more bloody thread to spend, because you just find it in chests now. How much thread do I have? What the fuck? Why do I have so much? <laughs> out to the fucking nines over here. Uh, the grease. I'm a hipster then. Abs I'm definitely a hipster. I won't, I, see, I'm not even, I'm, I will not beat those allegations. I'm not even going to try it. I can just buy blood straight up. I can also just buy bullets straight up as well. And gunpowder. And bone ash. I can convert that to the grease. The grease. I can buy another thing. I guess I should get the prismatic dress. It heals you ever one percent of health every five seconds. That adds up to a lot of health regen when you're just running around. Well, right now I'm at full health, so I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll upgrade it, though. Why not? Is there a, a station I can use to upgrade my weapons? Okay, but what about the white wax? One of each wax. Summon four cursed orbs that hover above the castle. You wait there until a target is found to seek towards. Oh, that spell. That's really fucking annoying when enemies use it to me. Engulfs the caster in phosphorescent cursed energy, allowing them to move incredibly quickly and deal damage to anyone fortunate enough to be in their way. The caster becomes invincible, deals damage ten times each second. Well, that sounds delightful. Personally, that sounds like the tops. I cannot purchase. I cannot purchase. Thirteen starry flesh has been provided. We need more flesh. We're, like, kind of awkwardly close to actually being able to fight, uh, Millie Nuba one over there. Stupid fucking ghost interfering in my combat. Still going for the ultimate ending? I'm making progress towards it, yeah. Might as well. It's, it's, it's ow! Oh, if you mean, like, the, the, the ending for completing all the quests or whatever, I've already done that. Like, I, we finished the game. This is New Game Plus. I'm investigating, like, New Game Plus now. 
saw that coming. There's a ghost in here now! Who asked you? Uh, that guy's gonna do the thing. <laughs> Didn't hit me full on. There's two of them! <laughs> Hang on, I've got a great idea. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Drink your, drink your fucking poison remedy, Nightingale. Well, I'm not totally sure what happened there, but I think it worked. I'm not 100% sure what just happened, but it kind of seems like everything is dead, and I have all their fingers now. So, I'm not complaining. You know? Like, I think that went well for me, overall. I believe that's a victory for the common man. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> How the fuck do you avoid those things? I didn't even loot his- it's, They're everywhere now! No! I've got- <laughs> I found a technique for evasion. I think I missed a body to loot. Well, I think you smell! I'll double check, and if there isn't a body to loot, there is- Damn it. I hate it when chat's right. It's annoying. Let's make some white wax, gamers. Cool. Some powerful spells now. No, you stop right there, and die, both of you, on top of each other. Give me your fingers. Ah! Destroyed them. Well, I've killed everything in the house. Again. Do I need to solve the puzzle to just go to the front and go to chapter three, or can I just like go? Is, is the key one of the things that stays, or is it something that New Game Plus takes off you? I'd find it surprising if I... I'm, I'm, actually, I'm honestly not sure which way this goes. Okay, you gotta do it again. BOO! OOH! STINKY! Is there no facility to upgrade weapons here? I could not find one. There's a mechanism to upgrade my armor, but nothing to upgrade weapons. I guess that's what this is for, though. Allows the weapons of upgrading at any laboratory workbench. What am I doing? Organ grease. The grease. Okay, well I can get two starry flesh for my troubles. 
I should do? I should also open the prized sag hack. Money. Okay, well, I can get the upgrading thing. Uh, they only sell in increments of four. Cringe. I'm sad. Damn. Damn it. I have to progress the game to get more starry flesh. I don't have time. I don't have time. No. You bothersome individual. You gotta upgrade the starry greatsword, right? Oh, but you can upgrade the flamethrower. No, you gotta upgrade the starry greatsword. Four shy. That feels so attainable. Oh wait, the basement is full of things that respawned. Oh, and you. Yeah, you're the thing that normally up... You normally upgrade my, my stuff. Yeah? Keys the front door... Oh, I guess... Oh, I guess if you bought it before this part of the game, you wouldn't need to jump off... Stop ringing the fucking bell, you muppet! What are you doing? Ooh, friend. Well, he didn't exactly last that long. I do not need friends. I am too powerful. Oh, it's the fireman! He's on fire! Unfortunately, I take boosted damage from such things. Damn, I slipped in the blind spot. Do you need one for the puzzle? Do you? I mean, assuming I'm gonna do it again anyway, which I may very well just, like, not. Give me your fingers. Bricky they are. Nope, got him. Couldn't block that mix up. Paralysis build too strong. I I noted that it was there and then immediately forgot the second I went through the room. Oh yeah, I never found the key, huh? Forgot about you two, sorry about that. Where's the bathroom again? They spawned right next to each other this time.
All right, now I've killed everything in the mansion again. I wonder when the divide in pop culture where the source deathmatch sound effects stop being ubiquitous will happen. Quake is eternal, it will never happen. I mean, I know it's like, it's used in Source Deathmatch, but like, the sounds originate from Unreal Tournament, but they're very commonly attributed to Quake, because some servers use them. You, you know, I know, but like, it's annoying, alright? You know what I'm saying? I can only afford one more Starry Flesh, that does not bring, that does not, that doesn't spark joy. That's not enough to get anything fun. Bugger. Bugger it all. I was hoping I could hit 20. Like, it's, it's, it, you don't have to play an incredible amount of New Game Plus in order to get through. And also, this is a game where if you know what you're doing, you can crash through them super fast. Like, you can, cr like, I'm in chapter two already, and it, like, I can basically just go finish it if I wanted to. You can just smash through this game at incredibly rapid pace if you if you know where you're going, and, and you're also incredibly strong by New Game Plus. Well, I guess I should go solve the puzzle at least. Associate them with Team Fortress 2. Yeah, they're, they're reused from uh, Unreal. It's an Unreal tournament thing. Well, sometimes, that's the thing, is that they get, they get mixed together a lot. Wait. Can't you convert your coins to finger and stuff via Hunter Dude? I can if I let him out. Which I have. So you make a sound argument in favor of doing that. <laughs> Commence. It's like five minutes to the Nintendo thingy. Blast it all! Blast! Blam this piece of crap! How long are these things usually? I must have time after. I really do, like, because I don't want to dedicate an entire, like, another stream to just whatever is at the end of New Game Plus, right? Because I don't think it's going to last another entire end of stream, unless it's, like, way more substantive than I thought. That will get me enough flesh. But what do I actually want to buy? I don't really care for the phantom threats. I'm just going to get the hardened flesh. Last one was 20 minutes. There might be time then. Right, we've given her enough, but I would like to offer my hardened flesh gain additional violence, but maybe also more health. Ah. 
I'm faced with a difficult situation now. It's like, it's five minutes to the, 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 oh, tune in for roughly 20 minutes of Nintendo announcements and updates on Indie Game. Yeah, so if it's 20 minutes long, we can, we can jump back into this after, right? <laughs> right? Going to announce Withering Rooms 2! Because, yeah, I do want to see this. The indie worlds are full of games, typically. Stream a bargain with chat to continue playing games. I'm not bargaining with chat, I'm bargaining with the concept of linear time. I have work today. Like, shit's gotta be done by four. I gotta go to work, man. But you know what? I need to pee as well. Let me pee real fast. Oh, fuck. Wow. I am not a. That really hurt. is in pain. music rock for a little bit while we wait. I feel better? I hope I feel better too. <laughs> Withering Room, all in all, good game. Withering Rooms is a good-ass video game. In the streamer's professional opinion, I approve. Clearly, by the fact I'm, I'm actually like sincerely pursuing the new game plus stupid, stupidity. It takes a lot to convince me to go in for like round two like that. But you gave me a flamethrower like immediately, and that's 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 a that's a declaration of very firm intent to just not even pretend <laughs> not, not even pretend like we're giving a sponsored hashtag i'm not sponsored I, I wish but no i just like the game man oh are we beginning are we good am i even on the right thing 4 17 20 yeah this is real ah here we go here we go we're live with video games are occurring Preemptively pour one out for Silk Song fans. I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Hello, Switch everyone. system. And welcome to Why is it's playing in like two places? Uh, what was that? Oh, I'm just prepping for our first segment. Uh, well then, let's get going. <laughs> I had two tabs open. Hey, I was doubled up. Ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. You're watching two Micah, different streamers the streaming the indie director. I'm Pip, the narrative designer. 
Little Kitty Philippa Big War. City is a game about exploring a weird I know Philippa War. She used to be on the uh, the Crate and Crowbar. When I was teaching she my used kids to, to like code. write for uh, a lot since then. publications, but I think. But the core is still the same. It's a game about Rock, paper, shotgun, a little I think. cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. That's Made novel. by people who love distractions. I don't know, that's what she was doing we with herself these days. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look! Not again. You're a curious little kitty in a big city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot, but you fell and now you're lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. Is this, isn't that literally this the plot of Stray? You'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home, and there's plenty to do along the way. Like... Check your to-do list. Some of the city's animals. I mean, the, 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 the tone seems more whimsical, but like, I'm pretty head. sure that's the uh, plot of Stray. Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a. <laughs> no, this will actually there be the good life. Achievements to complete. Get petted by humans. Cat achievements. Things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty Too hats. Too much our cute like game to sell it. it shark, yeah, I kind of... I hate to be miserable you along with you, but... Whenever you want. Uh, the thing about this, though, oh, is that it totally works stretch. on people. It totally works on people. To while stirring up some mischief. Get ready to That's very dig your claws in when Little Kitty Big City pounces onto Nintendo Switch May 9th. The annoying is it. I know. I know lots of people who totally love Nintendo Stray e because it's just got like a cute cat in it. That's it. Even though Stray is kind of puddle deep, ultimately. You ever get that feeling like you're meant for something more. That's been kind of my deal since forever. Protagonist syndrome ass looking character. Something's changed. Oh shit! Something they're a protagonist. Inside me, ready to break out. Needs to be stopped, and I'm the one who can do it. Probably. Hey there, I'm This here. is this is Yar. Yars. 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 Join me. On a they made a new Yars game in 2024, and, game and it looks like that. Planetary. What started as your typical hacker for That's a uh, novel. Into a weird intergalactic conspiracy. Here's the thing. Yars is like a Yars Revenge is a real thing. Run, but it's like an Atari game. It looked like that. It's that. I this corporate empire I and thought that was red when I joined. No, sorry. We're looking at the the indie direct real quick. Year, year. Sorry, I meant here. <laughs> I think it's Yars Revenge, right? I'm not like totally up on my 2020 uh, on my uh, 2024 remakes, re-releases, reboots of, of fucking Atari 2600 games. Based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action this has been in the works for a while. This one. you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories, interact with other characters, and gradually piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. Will you end Gambler. up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? or even a strong-willed samurai. And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. They turned a Facebook quiz into a video game. No, I'm being uncharitable. You gotta make jokes. I don't know, I feel like I have to make jokes. What if I just didn't make jokes? What if I just looked at the game? Is that allowed when Find you're streaming? Out who you are in refined uh, well, okay, actually, it is literally called testing. the personality test Launching game, apparently. So. Console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> this Thank you. Thank you for laughing. I appreciate it. Hi everyone. 
we're Spell Garden Games, the developers of Sticky Business. They we got a dog in the shop. From the small businesses and creators that's what you got to do. On social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages. I'm misery. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm such a misery guts about stories. this kind of thing, dude. So, we want to Everyone does it, though. I like dogs, and I'm, I'm getting, like, come on. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to yeah, play. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm glad we're sticking around. It's difficult not to be cynical when they do business. things like that. You've got a sticker shop to run. So let your imagination I'm, run wild. I submit I am miserable about this kind of thing. To customers. I'm a misery guts, okay? Like, you know what you signed up for when you chose to watch me watch there this, okay? There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, boba, ice cream, books, pizza, and raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. I was wondering what the teacher, gameplay loop of this to actually was. Student, to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Yeah, I'm a bit Plus, indifferent to this. The Plan With Me paid Sorry. DLC adds 10 more customer stories and over 100 sticker elements. The Plan With Me paid DLC. Trackers, Is this game out? Washi tape and frames. Get ready to build the cutest shop ever. In Sticky Business, both the game and DLC launch as timed console exclusives on Nintendo Switch later today. Traditionally, if you release after a while, DLC you include the thing be by default. Later today. But I guess not. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you covered with this trio of upcoming indie games. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna find out who did this and blast him into teeny tiny little pieces! Have a blast in Anton Blast! The devil himself stole your prized spirit collection and you're on a rampage! I've seen this around back. before. This, uh, the this has the rotten luck of releasing Anton. after Pizza Tower. <clears throat> Or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to win. Yeah, it's so like everyone immediately went, oh, Pizza Tower, like Pizza Tower. This was in development, I think, way before that. But it had the rotten luck of Pizza Tower beating it to the punch. Also, I'm gonna have cards on the table. I didn't really like Pizza Tower. So I'm out. Get ready for a destructively good time. Is this not from the dev of pizza? No, they're both ripping off the same source material. Both Pizza Tower and this are ripping off Wario Land 4. That's why they look so similar. A riveting first-person adventure awaits in Valley Peaks. As the new technician assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains. Setting up first-person frog-based so gameplay. Can hopefully reconnect with the world, but with boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. One can play more Fill than one Wario Land clone? Well, one can. One won't, though. Easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. from the creators of Year Walk, Device 6, Sayonara Wow. I've only heard of one of those things. Playing over Vampire Survivors clones, you're willing to admit it? I wasn't even willing to play Vampire Survivors. <laughs> I didn't even get past the first hurdle of that one. Adventure games are so so difficult to it has quite the style though about it
But it's really difficult to get the sense of what the gameplay loop even is. Like, adventure games are always really difficult to pitch in this kind of function, you know? Hi, I am Elder Pinto, the creator of Europa. He Six made Europa? Ago, I started working That's on a big place! Like, time. all of it? And since then, it blossomed Jeez. with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted it to be a meditative Minus experience two. and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank Created you so much. Europa. Bro got like a camera for an eye. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. You're ah, ha, 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 ha. Some may say you may find yourself. To build something better than what we left behind. All right, what is actually what is what is the gameplay loop of this? That These are very cool time. shots and all that, but what what what, what are you giving me here? That is why I'm sending. Whimsical platformer, it seems. Stop that! I wonder. Shut up, James! Not everything's about depression. I don't think we've seen. We've seen maybe one game so far that was about depression. And we're not even totally sure, all right? If anything, I feel like the, the trend for indie games is to lean, like, kind of wholesome in that sort of kind of vapid way, unfortunately. Which sort of puts me off. I like it when games are fucking miserable. Order up some pizza At least they got something. The teenage ah, Ninja yes. Turtles teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My Nintendo favorite Switch. indie IP. In their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo, Raphael, Radical roguelike. Man. Michelangelo must travel through reality <laughs> even the licensed games are roguelikes now. Splinter. Who With even plays roguelikes? That's stupid. Why would anyone do that? Huh! While enhancing your abilities with power ups. But no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred through the story. The four turtles each have their signature weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. Wow. <laughs> in each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to customize your moveset <laughs> with range suits. Don't get too attached though, because these powers reset when a run ends. More customization options await back at your sewer home, where you can spend in game currency you earned on your runs on permanent. How's this indie? I don't know. <laughs> the turtle and I don't really follow. It looks like a. Enjoy exploring iconic locations. So it kind of looks like someone looked at Hades and was like, what if it was co op and turtles? And your team of turtles can drop Fair in enough, and out whenever they want, making for a no press. Looks fine, but I'm not gonna lie, it's, I'm not gonna play that. Come on now. When Let's be real. Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this July. Timed console exclusive is such a funny sentence, and they keep saying it. I think that's Cat Quest 3. Yes. I'm a genius. I'm the smartest guy that has ever lived. I haven't played any of the Cat's Quest games, but I know they exist. Which is more than I can say for a lot of things. a wholesome but vapid game as well. Well, it's an action RPG. There is like a gameplay mechanic to this one. Like, they're action RPGs. They're like that. I like the effect we've got here. Local co- uh, dying art these days. 
have to make a friend for this, though. Pre-orders and demo available later today on Nintendo eShop. Hello from Phuket, Club. I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. Ooh. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft well, we got into our game. Puzzle game. As we game. design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hoops for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are a fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer, Tanin. Some content category, like Mystical Creature, for example, originated from Just found out that players. roguelike TMNT game is a mobile game. We hope oh. you will enjoy the <laughs> oh, game no. and happy fishing. fishing. That's not amazing, is it? Up. There was a slash. What? How do you pronounce the slash? <laughs> For what it's worth, I have no idea what the language that is. What's, what's the orthography on that one? You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Hmm. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. It seems like a, a meditative kind of puzzle game. To real life locations, there are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind this with is the kind of thing I'm about to say a really thought. stupid Complete sentence in whatever this is the kind of like, thing it, no I feel like I would choose, really like to play if it were on the Nintendo DS and calming does it not look like this is the kind of thing that would need like, like that would benefit from a stylus right oh you could hoop, touch controls in handheld mode that's great but it's not the DS and recolor it to your liking if a hoop seems too tough don't worry a handy hint feature can be used at any ah the children yell for the DS. You can also tailor your experience with various accessibility settings. <sighs> Want more of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Bring back the DS. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch <gasps> later today. Not even a timed console exclusive. A console Before exclusive. Go, let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Holy shit, Silk Song. Where is it? That's that's not the song silk. Oh. Skim. Oh, this is cool. I've seen this one before. This is the game where you jump into the shadows and shit. Perspective. This see that game doesn't even like need much egg. Like skim conveys its concept really well from just like three seconds of gameplay. Duck Detective The Secret Salami. I was wondering about the demographic of that kind of thing. That seems like the sort of thing that would be more of like a children's book than a video game. Is there a market for that kind of thing? Maybe. We've got time for one so last can I get anything? No, 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 hang on. There's one the last team. announcement. Take a look. There's one last announcement. Watch. Get ready <laughs> to sail the spectacular Steamed! sea in long-awaited SteamWorld sequel. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even want to play Silk Song. 
parts of its <laughs> body. I don't even want to play. Now, so. it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover like I'm definitely why the not interested at all. Has become a nautical nightmare. <laughs> Guy, your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical. I didn't. I didn't like the first Hollow Knight. Adventure. Point. Shoot and let those bullets bounce. Boing. This time around, you can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. I hear these games are pretty good, but I haven't played any of them, so I can't say I got nothing to say. Then line up your shot to blast baddies. We already we already saw like a pirate ship-based game, and it had cats in it. Recruit them to your cause. And embark I gotta say, voyage together. in in the, the eternal war on like bots, furries versus mecha, I've definitely already picked a side, lives. you know. Plus, with the new job system and so sorry, Steamworld heist. Along with over 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steambot's There's a war. Have you ever noticed, because I notice a lot, the artist commission Each info will have, very often have, have no mecha or no furry, but not course, typically both. You can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. Because so hats. people who draw one find the other annoying. Take aim and blast bots to bits when... Steamworld Heist 2. Tyson Tan would like to know your location. Switch, That's why Tyson August Tan is so powerful, because he can do both and relishes in doing both. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games in today's showcase. A big thank you as always to our indie community and partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay indie up World to date on the latest news from Indie World. Well, Stitch Until looked nice. Time, happy gaming! But Stitch also doesn't look like the kind of game that streams particularly well, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a bit of a dud for me, frankly. Unfortunate. You can't can't win them all. Can't win them all. But eh. Nothing I was incredibly enthusiastic about there. Back to the rooms. They're withering. A dud. A dud! I disagree. Fish flavored water, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Right, back 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 to your regularly scheduled withering rooms. Even if the night blows right, I don't think it changes the philosophical implications of the dream much, does it? There's no more meaning in reality than the dream, and no more meaning in a dream with a god than a dream without a god. We Millies created nowhere. We just projected the wrong room out into space. The dream is quite logical, you see. Since the wrong room is connected to the house, surely it must have a floor, even if you can't see it. We Millies gradually explore closer and closer to the center of the dream. This is our furthest outpost. It used to be a laboratory of sorts. We'd experiment here far from the judgmental eyes of those at the house. Pick the other turtle next one so you get increased crit chance. Fair enough. When she Millie 18, 1891 the first, the first one went a bit mad. Madness is a common affliction for us Millies, you see. The experiment started crossing ethical boundaries. Most Millies were disgusted and left. I stayed. I suppose I read too much nihilistic Russian philosophy. As the first Millie became more powerful, I became less of a partner and more of a prisoner here. Eventually she went on a journey into the stars, leaving me magically shackled here. She has been eating iterations of the dream and now she's returning to eat us. Uh, okay, I guess I'm ready to just fucking do it. Am I sure? Not really. I'll stack up my armor. Not as such. So, are you ready? No. But I do really want to see what the- even if it kills me, I'd like to see what this is. Should you fail, <laughs> the whole dream works together in my stomach, a churning mass of cursed energy. Good luck, Nightingale. Okay. Maybe you get the bad ending. Oh, there's a- it's not that- the stakes aren't that high, there's a thing here. The stupid fucking doll still here. Go away. Right, we're in nowhere pit. So this is like the true final boss. 
Maybe I should bring out the cursed sword for this. Can you curse? Can we curse? Ooh. Oh, you can absolutely curse her a little bit. She's vulnerable to paralysis. Ow, my face. Shit. Oh my god, the hitboxes. What is this? I'd like to make her bleed. The dimensions are twisted, man. <sighs> well... The breakbeat just hit big. Okay, she's bleeding. Ah, the bleeding wore off. Ah, wah, 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 Hit him with the bleed. The bleeding is doing great damage. She's on fire. Her face is on fire. This is not an ideal circumstance. But she's bleeding, so it's okay. Drink a cup of tea, I think. In times like this, you should always drink a cup of tea. Okay, actually, maybe hit him with the acid. I disagree. She's almost dead. I'm winning. Amareel, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Defeat a foe in central nowhere. Is the Night Mother real? I don't think it matters. She manifested it either way. Damn, I'm too powerful. Even for the, the New Game Plus boss. Took him to the cleaners. Starry head sack. Permanent headwear. Received 10. I killed God. I killed a God, at least. For some value of God. Can get another heart and flesh for my trouble. Up. Can't believe it, I was preparing to be consumed the whole time. I'd actually made peace with the idea. Being mixed and churned together with the rest of the dream doesn't sound so bad to me now. Perhaps she would have grown too large and exploded, birthing a new universe. So what now? I suppose you better decide for yourself what's next. Maybe we'll work together again someday. In truth, I only partially understand the nature of the recall spell. I may have accidentally created a time loop when I brought you back. I do know the Church of Burdens should be open to you now. Ah, the Church of Burdens. You can find the entrance through there. I don't think- physical damage does not seem to be my problem right now, so I guess I'll just take some health. Does this have a limit on how much you can level up by way of starry flesh? Feeling pretty strong. Was that a boss or was that the New Game Plus final boss? I don't know. <laughs> What's in the Church of Burdens? Oh, I knew it would be you. If anyone could put down Millie on her god form, it would be you. Welcome to the Church of Burdens. Now she is dead, our work can continue. Our work never fucking ends! That felt very final boss-like because that... The beats, man! The songs in this game are very simple, but I really like them. Just, just, just hit me with that good drum loop. We have a plan to put things right once and for all. I hope you'll help us. Will you hear more? Absolutely. There is a way to undo all the damage the dream has caused. Priscilla, could you explain? 
Miliera could not make her mind about what to do with the dream. She started the Night Mother to cult to grow the dream. She sought a way to undo the dream entirely, to return things to the way they were. The Book of Burden, sitting on a plinth outside, is the key. The book through sorcery I cannot begin to fathom writes itself. Each time a new dream inhabitant is slain in front of the book, drops of dream essence form on its cover. This is pure curse energy, which I believe is the substrate underpinning the whole dream. A being composed of pure curse energy can go places and do things we cannot. We can construct such... <sighs> so I gotta take the Book of Burdens. Still more to be done! This game never fucking ends, man! <laughs> My god, we gotta bring her the fucking we gotta take this stupid book and have it kill me. Great mystery, your foes will become more powerful each page of my I gotta I gotta take Oh it makes you burdened. Wait, I've been in a burdened area before. I guess I'm it's like I guess that's permanent now. Where, where does it live? I'd like to read its description. I can't find it. Oh. A book filled with dense, inscrutable scribbles of ink. Throwing the- oh, you can throw it away. Fuck you! It came right back. Okay, so I am now burdened, whatever the hell that means. Sounds fake to me. Wait, no, 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 wait. I can go back to the pit? Why? For what reason? Anything fun down here? No, it's nowhere. Why would there be anything in here? What were you thinking? You're stuck down here now, you moron. Let me out! Let me out, let me out, let me out! Ah, I'm stuck in the pit! Ah, there's a pit! Ah! Okay, thank you. Okay, well I... There's nothing to kill is the problem right now, though. Unfortunately, a, uh, a problem with this setup is that I'm kind of- I kind of don't have anything to kill. I killed everything to get this far. As if I'm still not done with this fucking game. <laughs> As if, though. Like, really. I killed God. Like, what more do you want from my ass? Now I gotta kill like more enemy. Oh my fucking god! What the fuck are you? My mother. Ow. It would appear as though I've discovered what being burdened means.
Not immune to paralysis, though, are you? Ow, my face. Yeah, this guy's damage is incredible. what I gotta deal with. Gee, I'm gonna need more health in a fucking hurry. He's got a resistance to bleed, but a resistance is not immunity. was some shit. Burdened brother. Offering nightingale bones. Heh. Heh. I thought I was supposed to get the, the, the essence, the thingamabob. I found a map. I can go to somewhere new. There's a new- <laughs> what the fuck? This game doesn't end. I got 114 essence from that guy. Holy moly. Well, it was worth my while. Can't argue with that. I... My thing disappeared again. Alright, well, uh... Oof. They're powerful. <laughs> They're powerful. of quite a bit of stuff. There's a part so I gotta get to chapter I gotta get to chapter three at least so I can go to the boat again and see what's new. This game doesn't fucking end <laughs> of your finest healing items, please. Please and thank you, because I am dying constantly. My damage is fine, but if they're gonna hit that hard, then holy fucking shit, I will need more healing on the double. How many hours do I have in this game so far? An embarrassing quantity. Uh, 44! My I have an outfit for just while I'm like wandering around like this. I've got the the yeah my passive health re passive health regen. Pretty, it's not particularly fast. <laughs> Look at that healthy boy, to being a pure curse energy. He doesn't have a gender. He's still alive, but still too weak to be of much use. A bit more dream essence. Oh, you want more? Always more with these people. As fucking if. I honestly thought the game, you know, after I killed God, but I was going to be reasonably done with my endeavors. But no! <laughs> no! We made big game! Ooh, we think we're so clever, don't we? OK, 
Hey, now can I just, like, do the thing that I wanted to do? It was this. I wanted to just get the key. I do really want to see where this road leads, but I might not stream it. Because I don't think the rest of the- I don't think it'll sustain, like, another full stream. Damn it, I wish I'd brought more organ grease. I don't need to solve that puzzle twice, right? No, I don't. I should have bought just one more organ grease to activate that thing with. Because I'm still shy of the achievement for activating 20 Remembrance Shrines, and it's like, how? How am I still shy of one? I don't believe you. I have activated almost everything I've seen, so like, I can't be missing much at this point, you know? I don't have the grease! I'm so sad. I have no grease. Where's the, where's the guy? Exchange my money for fingers and turn that into organ grease and then I can activate the shrine. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> well, first things first. Let's just kill this thing. You know, while I'm in the neighborhood. This was a boss before. Well, I mean, it's a boss now, but... Oh, right! This is... I'm burdened. I'm trying to fight a burdened boss. This is gonna kick my fucking ass. Actually, it seems like I'm doing pretty well. Uh, it's still vulnerable to paralysis after all. Look at how much fucking health this thing's got though. No, uh, despite being burdened, this is going pretty well. <laughs> the paralysis is doing some serious work. Cannot argue with these results. That's really sad. Actually, the entrance hall key was available. So if you have the entrance hall key, can you get out ahead of time? <laughs> Dev, nerf paralysis. I mean, no, don't nerf paralysis. It's the only thing keeping me hanging here. But also, I do. I did luck into four rings that collectively boost my paralysis infliction by over 100%, I think. So the stars really have to align for you to be able to do that. wanted to be finished with this kit. I mean, I, I beat my playthrough. Yes! Two organ grease. Simply a comical amount of content in this video game. What the fuck is this thing, by the way? Oh, that's a... I killed the angel earlier. It's, like, bubbling. That's kind of gross. God, Beast Nightingale while burdened feels like it would give me an aneurysm.
I have 32 item remembrance slots, and that's still apparently not enough. <laughs> is it possible that the 20 remembrance shrines achievement is bugged? Like, I don't think tiers count, but I don't know how many individual shrines I've activated. Are there even 20 in the game? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't even know what I need to remember. I don't need to remember nothing. I forgot. Let's just remember random crap. Who cares? Like, I'm, I'm pretty set in my ways with this build, dude. Did I fight Beast Nightingale yet? Uh, not on New Game Plus. Honestly, I'm going to avoid the sh You have a checklist in journal? Do I? Do you? Oh, you get like a, uh, a funny page in the book for... ...burdened versions of enemies. Shrines and hunting. Ah, oh, no kidding. You're right. Mostin Mausoleum, Cursed Sentinel Candle. Damn. Corrupted liver. Cough. What the hell is coffin chamber? Coffin chamber. Oh, it's the right. I know where coffin chamber is. But felt like my withering team's only attempt to fast forward was the Beast Nightingale fight. It's it was like bad in the first iteration of the game, and it like somehow got worse in this. I feel like Beast Nightingale got stronger, and it's like why? Why is she stronger? Uh, what's his face is in upper parlor, isn't he? Can you get candles off the guy? Do you sell candles? No, you do sell livers though. I once again find myself with an unnecessary amount of money. I guess I'll just have to get a candle some other way. Finish this tonight. That's so maddening. <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm genuinely mad that this game is like so big. <laughs> Please, I can't keep streaming withering rooms. There like a bunch of other games came out, you know. This is coffin chamber. I remember. There we go. There's a one. It's still not enough. I still don't have enough shrines. Oh, weapon upgrade kit. That's nice. Liam apparently requires a candle, which I don't have. I don't have a good way of accessing that right now. Go progress the game to chapter 3, streamer. Well, it's kind of unique shrines for the achievement. I believe it is, yes. I do think that's the case. any reason to hang around here. Actually, do you give essence if I shoot you with the camera? Let's have a try. <laughs> One. <laughs> One dream essence. So, not incredibly efficient. But technically, yes. I am done in this part of the game. I 
It is timed and I could reset the night and kill everything again, but why do that when I can like progress the game forward instead? Oh my fucking word, please do not scare me like that. Right. Hmm, yeah. That's uh that's real cool, man. Uh, so that guy is like, he's burdened on top of being a bricky one. Am I hitting from this far? I can't really tell. Yeah. Ah! He's picked me up! Ow, pain. I might die. I'm alive. I'm living. Pricky one. No! Fuck you, man! I'm so dead. It's over. Oh, he picked me up! No! <laughs> Well, that's what I get for thinking I can progress the game. Oh, hey, it reset the night at least. Oh, all my items are gone. Dead. Yeah, unfortunately, Curse Rot kills you through the pixel thing. The magic pixel. That guy stings. He sure does. That's like the only way I die in this game is when status effects stack, like, multiplicatively and kill you through your magic pixel. Are summons ever good? How many items do you need to make it viable? Uh... Really... In this part of the game, I wouldn't say it's viable. Where are the enemies? There they are. Right, this guy's immune to bleed, which is a non-trivial issue given my layer. Maybe I should be trying to curse this guy instead? We can poison him though, that'll do. This is moving me back ever so slightly, which I kind of don't like. You know what sucks? I didn't manage to convert those fucking fingers into organ grease before I died. I didn't think I was going to get instantly cooked by a random enemy in the subway tunnel. like a hundred fingers and now they're all gone. Should have converted them to grease and then damn it. Oh well. That's okay. See, fortunately I'm at the point where death isn't that big of a deal. I scale back pretty, like I have so many, I have so many healing. Oh, you're new. No, you're not. I just remixed us all. That did fucking three quarters of my goddamn health. Good lord. Being burdened fucking sucks, man. Highly recommend not being burdened if you can help it. Ow. Fuck my life, dude. Epic. Move to the beat. Cool. As long as I can kill something, I'm making progress towards completing this ending. 16. That's not bad, we're accumulating over here. We're, we're getting something done. Fortu like, because uh, Dream Essence doesn't expire, so we're building it up here. 
Burden so Burden makes the game really hard. <laughs> Who would have thought? I hate that. I hate it when it makes the game harder. I tell you what though, I I really am like seriously out of time now. Sucks that I can't like get the the new game plus ending, whatever it be. Uh, uh. But it's time to go. It's time to go. Withering Rooms is great! I liked it. I had a good time doing all the, the side quest shenanigans this playthrough. And then New Game Plus really. I mean, you get a flamethrower New Game Plus, but holy shit, the Book of Burdens. Everything just kills you so fucking fast. Uh, but it's okay. I do totally want to get Ending D. I just, I want to, I want to carry that to its natural conclusion. Shit, maybe, <laughs> maybe next stream I will be. Let's like, finally, let's finish Withering Rooms, idiot. Let's do it. Just, just get, just get it done, man. Once and for all. Could it possibly be? Stream. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, drop me a follow on the Twitch or television. If you, uh, if you liked all this, uh, stay tuned. Probably because honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm shamefully, I'm just, I'm fully in now. I want to see ending D. I want to see where this, I want to see where this goes in the end. If I can kill anything, I'm making progress. We can, we, we can get there. We can do it. It can be done. I believe in me. However, my ass die. Ooh. I'm gonna send you guys over to Hypnoshark, who is playing Crash Nitro Kart, which is a completely different kind of video game. Alright, I gotta go to work now, and also do something about the fact my stomach is fucking killing me. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.